Today we're investigating a truck found underwater off of a bridge in Georgia. Let's get into it. the boat and we're gonna start by checking this ramp we just put in at but the bridge is only like maybe a mile that way it's really not far I wouldn't be surprised we've been scanning at all uh yeah so far nothing but this would be a good spot to dump car I've seen there's donut marks up there people coming out here drag racing and stuff so it's definitely a spot I mean, there's a park over here I mean I've been, I've been, I bet there's been cars out here before I haven't seen anything yet at this boat ramp there's tires but whatever my sonar, bro. We're just looking at yours right this second. Yeah. 16 feet here. It's not bad right here at the boat ramp. And there's the boat ramp. So. There's tires and crap everywhere. See it a lot better when it's not out in the sun. Yeah, there's some tires right there. Is that a big log? So that looks clear. Dude, right off ways it. away. That one goes long. That one goes really long, yeah. There's a good bit of boat ramps out here. So we'll try to hit them all until you run out of gas. But our goal is to dive on this truck. I ain't gonna run out of gas. We'll be out here all day. I didn't know what this was when I was looking at it, but I'm pretty sure that is a fish head hung up. Yeah, oh gosh. Dude, in my mind, I thought it was like a mask with like fur hanging off of it. But that is a, a dead fish. That's really nasty. I'm sorry if you guys are watching this and disgusted. <laughs> I'm watching this in real life and disgusted and this flies all over it. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's nasty. Why would someone do that? Just throw it in the water. It's messed up. That's a huge Should fish. Should we dude. put it in the water? No. <laughs> I ain't touching it. It's probably some weird voodoo attached to that thing. Probably, man. So we made it down to the end here. I wanted to get closer because there's a road right there. But three feet, nothing out here. It looks clear to me. I think that's an old boat ramp. It's definitely it's so shallow. Maybe it's, it, is it deeper it. on this side? I bet it's a little deeper over here. You can see that tree just sitting there, three feet. That's a boat. That, yeah, it's, it's a road. We just went over a road. It just keeps going. You don't think it's a boat ramp? No, I think it's a road. So like, this is a man-made lake though. So maybe it was like the old, old, how old is this lake? Anybody know how old Lake Lanier is? Comment below. Sure. But that looks like a road. You can probably Google it in the meantime. Yeah, but I want everybody, I'm not gonna, you know, yeah. Y'all, I want y'all to tell me. Y'all? Yeah, y'all. Y'all. I'm from Texas, okay? Y'all. We say y'all. You don't say your H and I don't, you say your I don't know if everyone in Texas doesn't pronounce H, but I say Houston. I don't say Houston. Cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. <laughs> cool whip. Why you putting some emphasis on the H? Come on, you're being weird. What? Is that what that is, the road? That big mess. I guess. Hard lines. So we just went over what looks like a dock. This happened before, someone thought it was a truck. We're gonna keep on searching though, close to the bridge, because I think that's not what he saw. Right. But you kind of think it might be. I am. I just got. Come, I just I can feel it in my well, chest. Well, that's only because this happened to us before. You feel uh, this might be. I mean, you have, to, you have to dive it to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The picture. You guys be the judge. To me, it looks like a truck. The picture looks like a truck, but I mean, maybe he just got a funky sonar shot and didn't check it like nine more times. That like could we happen. Did. Yeah. Because when you when you're doing the sonar, you got to go over it a bunch of different ways. It might take an hour to get a good shot. I um, wonder if we could recreate his sonar shot. Like he was using down imaging too. Well, he had a low rants or something, right? I think so. Well, we're gonna keep on going. I, I think it's a truck. I think it's just closer. I think it went off the bridge over here. Although, I have to look at his. Uh, let me look at his <laughs> his location. Your optimism is amazing. Misguided. No, okay, no. His location. 
It's closer to the bridge, I think. Wait, hold on, stand by. Yeah, his location is right near the bridge. That wasn't what he saw. We'll Told you. We'll see. I think I sent you that location. <laughs> I just guessed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think it's right here. So it should be right over here in this little area. All right, there's the truck right there. <laughs> All I see are stumps and disappointment. We should be getting close. Sixty feet though. Now we're just—if we don't find this, now we're just going to be like, well, I guess we're—we're we're just going to have to be on the hunt to find a vehicle to die. That's the only thing I can think of doing. There's a lot of boat ramps out here. No, that's got to be right in this little area. Well, I'm shooting 100 and I don't see it yet. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm shooting 100. Well, it's all flat. It's deep. It just like level. Oh, there it is. You're a liar. That's no. it, right there. I, didn't, well, I haven't got over it yet. So that's it. That, that, that's a truck, 100%. That is a truck, man. Look at that. To the right? Uh, I'm backwards. I didn't see anything. Dude, I mean, I. It's I, a truck. I see it. All right, well, I, I see what you're talking about. But it's I don't... 60 feet. It's like 60 feet. It's right in that trench. To, to the left, yeah. It's All like right. 60 feet away. I'm pretty, yeah, that looks, that's a truck. <laughs> Why is my image better than yours? I mean, it's deep, I guess. 20, this like goes from 20 to 60 feet. Cause, well, that, if that's a truck that you say it is, it's like right at 60 feet. I think so. Which is gonna suck. But at least, it, at least it's just still water. Is your line long enough? Your uh, rope? No, but there's the, the, the 100 foot ropes in here. That's the exact same shot I got. That's why it looks like a boat with a top. It actually does look like a boat now that I'm looking at it here. So I said 100% a truck. It might be a boat. Mm. It might be a truck. Well, let's, do, let's do the live and see. I'm not convinced, because it looks kind of square. There it is. <laughs> That's exactly what he was seeing. That's the exact same picture we I saw. I can't tell if it's a truck or a boat, but it makes me think of a truck more than a boat based on the squareness. That does, yeah. I mean, God, it really does. Look along the, uh, I don't see a motor on it. That's what makes me think not a. The full screen. No, that's a truck. Look how square the back is. It's a truck, man. Look, you can see the wheel well inside of it. Unless it's like the motor fell inside of it. I just don't... It's, you know what? That's it's a, a truck. It's a truck or a boat, but that live skin looks just like a darn truck. I mean, yeah, with the, with the wheel well in there, squared. I don't know. It's hit or miss. Look how Once, square is the back. Why don't we... Uh, a boat would be... That's a truck, man. Why don't you get that magnet going and see if we can snag it? 50 feet. It's not bad. There's something behind it. Is that a rock? I don't know. Something square? Maybe a trailer. Lights. That was like an old oh, no, fender. I bet that's an old ass truck. Cool. How cold is it? 62. I, I mean, it, if it's that deep, it's going to be cold when you get so. to it. Yeah. I, I mean, you won't freeze to death, but you're definitely not going to enjoy it. All right, well, let's mark this thing. I have to get a longer rope, probably. In here is that bag. He's got to put a magnet on it. And it definitely came off of this hill with this bridge. I mean, these houses is, are new. Like they could have, it could have been dumped a long time ago before these houses were built. That's possible. Yeah, look, look at that thing. That's an old truck, man. I really, mean, it's got to be an old one. That's really cool. Hey. It'll take a minute. Hold it right there. Now I'll just try to. So right now it's 20 feet that way. Uh, down, 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 down. All right, I'm on it. It's metal. It's metal. It's a truck. It's got to be a truck. It's they don't make truck. steel. They don't make steel boats. No. <laughs> and well, no aluminum ones stick. Yeah. It's a truck. Right now we're directly over the car, 46 feet. It's not. It's not the. It's not 70 feet. How about that? But this it's definitely be... going to get dark and spooky. 
So. Like, let's just say, whatever. This is a missing person. If they're, this is gonna be a crazy recovery if they have to pull it out from the, the road right there. Yeah, this would be hard. I mean, we could, actually there's guardrails now. I don't even know if you could. If it, I don't honestly, this would be one where like they would float it and tow it somewhere. Yeah, it'd be the easiest way to do it. Or we can do that if we really wanted to get it out later. We could. There's no current. No, this would be a t like if we could get one more bag, we could just hook each bag on a wheel and air them all up and, and, and just drive it over there, so to speak. Here's what happened. We basically had it marked and then it came off because we had it tied to the boat, but I do, we just got it stuck, but it took us like 30 minutes. So now we're sitting here questioning if it is a truck, even though it looks like a truck. It's either a, a truck that's just giving us grief. Maybe it's like covered in something. It might be really covered in silt and stuff. Or it's a really big aluminum boat, which yeah. either way we could benefit off of that. That'd be cool. I don't know, salvage rights. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like a, if it is a boat, it looks like a search boat. It's got a like hard aluminum. Top. It's not this. Yeah. It's got like, it's a structured part. Which if it's aluminum, that would make sense why it's not sticking really well. But I'm on something now where it's right there. So, um, let's go see what this, this mystery is, man. I'm even more intrigued. Yeah, it'd be <laughs> interesting. Be all wet. <laughs> Splashed the thing down. In case you guys are wondering where I got my dry suit, this thing's been amazing. Uh, dive right in scuba.com actually hooked me and Nug up with great deals on this equipment. And if you guys are a scuba diver or thinking about getting into diving, I would highly recommend going to dive right in scuba.com. They've been a huge help to us and uh, just wanted to show them a little bit more love because a lot of y'all watching may not know. You may be like, hey, where'd those two good looking guys get all their gear? somebody else on this boat? <laughs> <laughs> Dive right in Alright, we got all the gear on. Let's get down there and see what this mystery object is. Truck or boat? Yeah. That's, that's the name of the game. Truck or boat? Alright, let's do this. A wooden bed. It's wooden. Look at that. I mean, look how blue that is. It's so baby blue. Oh, the metal's just crumbling. Oh, there's a plate. It's probably going to crumble off if I try to grab it off. It looks like M. Two. Okay, one, four. 
One four G. What kind of truck is this? The driver's window is down. Oh, look at that. Northern Georgia. Okay. What kind of truck is this? Oh, Chevy. <laughs> that, was cool. that probably the coolest truck I've ever dove on. Yeah, dude, this sonar when you see it, I recorded it. Uh, it was the coolest. Like I could see your feet kicking. I could see you going <laughs> down. I was like, this is epic. But so what'd you find anyway? So what? Obviously, it's a vehicle. Dude, it took so long to get down there. It was just like, oh, I don't know, forever. Well, you was going pretty slow, so I was like, oh. Oh, it's kind of slow. Was it dark? It was, it, visibility was great. Really? Until you stir up the bottom. But, uh, well, I mean, great for 50 feet down, you know? Oh, yeah. So, here's what I know. It's an old Chevy. That was the center cab or something? That was on the steering wheel. So oh, how the driver's cool. side was down. Best part is it's like a baby blue truck. And the reason like we, what magnet wasn't sticking, besides the fact that every piece of metal was just crumbling off. Uh, uh, the bed was wooden slats. Oh, how cool. And on the side it said Northern Georgia Nursery. Really? Yeah. Holy smoke. Well, that's the truck's never coming out in one piece, dude. I touched the bed and it crumbled. It had a plate, but it's pieces. All I could get was the first number was like one four. It's a Georgia plate. It said one. Honestly. You couldn't like could you read the whole thing before you tried to pull it off or? I read what I could. It said one four. Well it's not like you'd come back to anything. <laughs> but I, have, I have pieces of it. Oh Chevy. Did it look like that picture I showed you? Uh 
I have to look at the picture, but yeah, it's like it's like an old yeah. Old sixties. It had a shovel in the back. I wanted to bring up the it's an old nursery, Northern Georgia nursery truck. Somebody's like, man, I'm done with this job. But wow. it was empty, no, there was nothing inside. Oh cool. But I got I mean I was, I just pulled this off the front. It was it was intact pretty well, but everything is cr crumbling. Yeah, that must have been down there for a long that's time. A, that's an old truck. Dude. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, when you see the sonar shot, you're gonna be like, that makes everything so much cooler. Because I was I could see you like, oh he's on the back of the truck now, he's probably looking at the tag. I mean there, yeah, there's the tag. <laughs> then I was like, he's going down a little vertical. <laughs> I think it was like one four, there's some twos in there. That looks like a V. Where you I wanna I wonder if it's a local business that's still around, Northern Georgia Nursery. I don't know. We could Google it. But the business, I mean, it should look pretty good. Hopefully, the camera looks pretty good down there. We'll see. It's a little foggy. So I just got out from that truck. That thing was cool, man. Definitely, definitely like the coolest truck I've dove on, I think. Like the whole back wood was, the whole bed was just wood, and it was crumbling apart. I mean, I was doing some research trying to find if the company's still around. Maybe y'all can help me if I can't, you know, figure that out. If they are around, we should go there and talk to them. That would be cool. Uh, I, I, I did find a, let's see. Northern Georgia nursery. I don't, I don't know. There's like pictures like this. It's like a blue truck. I don't know if you can see that. But. I'll put it up on the screen. Yeah, here's what we have. This Chevy, this was on the steering wheel. Red Chevy logo. There's like baby blue. What else? I mean, we got, here's the light, the front light, and then here's the mirror. It says T, T3, T, T, T-3. So that's the mystery we gotta solve. The mystery. And I, I wanna try to call some people. Like, hey, did you guys missing a, a truck from 40 years ago? Yeah, did you lose a truck 40 years ago? <laughs> By God, we did. That's a cool story regardless. And if you guys, maybe you maybe you own it, maybe your grandparents own this nursery if you're still around, if I haven't found out yet in this video, but uh, I'd love to find out if anyone watching knows, let's, you know, this is a mystery. Let's try to solve this thing. It's really cool. But I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to check out Explore with Nug. Yeah. We're gonna keep on searching Lake Lanier, try to hit all the other boat ramps before the day is up. And that'll be another video, but thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate y'all's support. I'll see you on the next one.